Hi friends, I'm Anna Hellman. Thanks for being here. I have another quick tip to share with you today. If you like the look of a matte on your cards, a mat, the matted look where you have a piece and then you have another piece behind it that has small strip of the color showing to help your top piece stand out. If you like that look, but you wanna know how to do it a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, and to save some paper in the process, let's take a look at today's tip. Here are some cards I created for another tutorial that really show how nice it can look to have that matted look. Now, on these cards, I only matted one side, the, the left and the right sides, or the top and the bottom. I did not mat all the way around, but it shows how it really helps the pieces to stand out from the background of the card. So I wanna show you how to do, how to get a similar look but without using any paper. So you're going to save paper. It will save time as well. And this is how to do it. This is another piece I created for another tutorial. And I have stamped these flowers and leaves in the background with several different colors of ink. Now, if I want to make it stand out from my white card base, I can do a couple of things. I could pop it up. A lot of times I'll pop them up with foam dimensionals, which helps it to stand out. But here is a quick trick using just your ink pad. Now I had my ink pads out anyway when I was doing my stamping. So this can be really quick to do when you already have those ink pads out. And it's just this to lay your cardstock against the edge of the ink pad. Now you can do this a couple of different ways. You can do more of like a dragging technique. If you do that, you wanna be careful, especially if you have these nice stamp it up foam pads. The dragging technique, just be careful. The corner of your paper does not gouge into your pad. Or you can do more of just like a padding technique. That's probably what I normally do. So you can do this and get more of an even look, or if you really want to, just as an example, I'll do this a little bit more haphazardly, and you can see we will get a little bit more uh, uneven color in a few places. And I could even do that a little bit more if I wanted to, if that's the look I was going for. So let's go ahead and attach this to our paper so we can see the final look. I have a greeting tag I'll add on here. I am going to pop this up just because it's a pretty simple piece on my plain white card base. We'll pop it up just for some added interest even with that ink outline we just added. And then we'll add our greeting tag and see what you think. So let's put that right on there. Here is my happy birthday tag. And what do you think? How do you like the look of that compared to just on the plain white? How do you like the look of that compared to if that was actually a paper mat in the background? One more thing to add to your list of ideas you can try on your upcoming card projects. Thanks so much for watching along. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.